Hello and welcome to another video. It is that time of the year. Strictly, it's that time of the summer where we go back and rank our commentators from the, the cricket season of uh, what was a very good season for the Aussies. Um, so, <laughs> you know, sometimes too easy. They're currently ranked one in the World Test Championship. So it's good to come home and pretty much get a clean sweep of... Uh, of the test series against the West Indies, which they won 2 0 in the two games, and against the South Africans, that, uh, you know, they really struggled. They really, really, really did. And I'm sorry for that dog barking, but we'll move past it. Um, they managed to draw the, sea, uh, the, the last game, which was at Sydney. Uh, that's only because the stupid weather in Sydney. No one likes Sydney for this reason. Well, not just for this reason. Sydney's just, let's just not talk about Sydney, all right? But the weather pretty much rained for three day. Oh no! It, they play the first day, but bad lining on the first day. So yeah, two and a half days was pretty much just gone due to weather. And what can you do? What can you do? Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the commentators. But uh, the big, big thing when you're watching any sport on TV is also listening to the commentators. Because the commentators bring you into the game, like just how they do it, and just general listening. You know, you don't want to be listening to someone who's talking about who knows what. Terry O'Keefe. <clears throat> um, but we we won't go there. Okay, stay on track. Anyway, so here it is for the 2022-2023 season of the Aussies Home Test uh, series. So let's start off with. Um, oh, let's let's start with the commentators we had this time actually. So, um, I hope I got all the commentators. I this is everyone who I could remember, and just searching, this is definitely of who um, I can solid solid solidly say that was commentating. So we got as always Mark Howard, Mark War, Michael Hussey, Adam Gilchrist, Ishigua, Kerry O'Keefe, Ian Smith, Shane Pollock, Alyssa he Healy. Oh. I can't believe I almost got that wrong. Uh, Brian Lara and then Alan Border. All right, the C tier. My man, Kerry O'Keefe, once again, your stupid ass. I mean, I love a good dad joke, but sometimes, like, I hand to watch cricket, not listen to jokes. Um, just, again, he, yeah, yeah. Um, Alyssa Healy, I didn't really get to hear much of her i think she was only mainly in the sydney test and a little bit of the melbourne test but i could be wrong but uh, i only heard little snippets of her um so we'll just give her a nice base of a c grade uh, to begin with uh next we're going on to the the b tier uh michael hussey um it just i don't know it felt a bit awkward for him this year i don't know what it was that's just what I kind of got the feeling of uh, just from, and just his, because he's in control of doing the lab stuff. And to me, it's just kind of awkward. Uh, it's probably awkward for him doing uh, the, the lab when it's all CG type um, stuff that he can't necessarily, and he's looking on a little screen. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's where he's at. Um, Alan Border, uh, he's there. It's, so this this is probably basing it off for me where there was a milestone about to happen um i can't remember whose milestone but it was his first ever century milestone to call and someone just made a 50 but he wasn't necessarily he kind of it was a lapse in concentration i think it was um which kind of i guess ruined that whole moment because not long after that a 50 was made um so that's kind of what made me put him at this one uh so yeah that's that's a b for me uh brian lara uh, he's kind of the same thing i guess with michael hussey where it's kind of that awkward type thing legend of the game don't get me wrong but sometimes, you know, those form of players, when they move on to commentating, 
it just and it's a little bit awkward and it takes a while i guess find their groove um i want to say but but he still wasn't bad listening to that knowledge that he has um and it's kind of it's kind of the same with shane pollock um i didn't actually get to hear much of him because half the time it was either is that him talking or ian smith um a little joke about south africans and kiwis sounding the same but we won't go there all right a lot of things we won't go to and that's one of them um overall i didn't i didn't find shane pollock to be bad at all um I think a little bit of time he was just kind of sitting there and had his little bits um, to say here and there. But overall, I did find him to be okay, um, which which is okay, I guess. Um, so we move on to the A tiers now. Uh, Ian Smith and Mark War. Ian Smith. Now, I think this is the first time I've actually listened to him either ever or properly. Now, he kind of is a little bit on the Kerry O'Keefe side when it comes to the jokes. Um, I think that's just kind of a generational type thing. Um, but Ian Smith, when he, he's got that commentator's voice. And if you know what I'm talking about when I say a commentator's voice, he kind of brings you in. He, he just... How do you explain it? He brings you into the game... And brings that emotion that's in the game out and like you can feel it um that's just kind of what i get um with ian smith he's just an all-round great presenter um now with mark war it's kind of he's got a wealth of knowledge and like he can his commentating is not the best but it's definitely solid enough that you want to watch the game when he's commentating um and he's a little bit up there when it comes to when there's a milestone here, like can bring into the game a bit. Uh, again, wealth of knowledge uh, um, behind him as well. Now you can see with the three names that aren't highlighted yes yet yes yet that are obviously going to be in the S tier. Now Mark Howard, he was born to be a presenter and commentator, like he. When I talk about commentator's voice, this is what I mean by commentator's voice. He brings you into the game. He brings that emotion out into the game. Um, again, for someone who uh, didn't necessarily play sports professionally, the knowledge he has and what he brings to it, you know, you can't fault. Um, Adam Gilchrist, probably one of the rare... The rare instances we got there uh, where a player, former player, moving to the commentary side of things absolutely nails it. And he, I believe he is up there with the likes of Mark Howard, who is a presenter, who is naturally there for it. And the same goes for Ishigua. There is... I don't know. There is something about her. She's, I believe, also a uh, former player, but and she, which would make her a rare instance where a former player is naturally born, and she's got the voice of again a milestone moment, uh, which is what you want in watching these games. Um, so that's they. They are my three S tier. I could listen to them all day if those three were just on commentary. For the whole five days i would i would not complain about it um but to say i wouldn't complain about any of these commentators being commentary um just yeah this is just my ranking of uh what they what they are what they <laughs> now we look at the comparisons from last year to this year see if uh, anything had changed uh mark howard Yep, he stayed the same. Mark War, he's actually gone down. Oh no, he's gone up. I read that wrong. He's gone up. Uh, so he's definitely improving as time goes on. Um, Michael Hussey has gone down. Like I said, I think this time around it just felt awkward. Um, just that's just how I how I felt um, watching it. Um, Gilly that hasn't changed again. 
uh, Ishigua has gone up to S tier and for my reasons uh, that I said she is a natural born presenter um, Carrie O'Keefe has stayed um, all jokes aside uh, and then the four next commentators you know they weren't part of uh, the commentary team last year or the last video that I did um, and Alan Border has has stayed at the B tier so there it is there is my 2022 to 2023 uh, commentator for the test cricket of uh, the Aussie series against the West Indies and South Africa uh, I feel like as bad as the I guess the touring teams came and played it was still good test cricket all round despite only having two days played at the Gabba but that's another story um, commentators are a big a big big reason why we get invested in especially watching at home we get invested um, Richie Benno uh, classic example of why people love watching cricket on the TV because we listen to the commentators they bring us into the game that make us feel like we're there so if, like if you think I'm wrong well, where we are allowed to have our opinions and that is that um, so if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me uh, let me know if you made it this far let me know uh, be sure to catch me on my socials this way make sure I got my hands right um, I'm there I do stream on YouTube um, so yeah if you want to catch me then if you're not say hello I will see you next time that you never saw Send for the Dan Reyes for your fire storm Cause I turn into a monster Ready for the war Better with your black None of them boy, they're no bad